Yo, what's up, crazy? This is me, Crazy Knock. The one with the big forehead. The one who knocks, as I say. Today, they have released the patch notes. They didn't release it on the website or, dis or um, Twitter, but they put it on Discord. I don't know if this is every single thing, but we're gonna read through everything. It's gonna be a long one, because there's a. I read the list, but we're gonna go through it together. We're just gonna read it all. Balance changes, as always, thank you so much for your valuable feedback. We'll see how well they listen to the feedback. I'm excited to read through all these. Agent Smith joins Multiverse. Is players complete tiers, you know, the rifts. Get them as early as July 8th. That is confirmed, guys, that you do not need Looney mode and level 9 gems to unlock Agent Smith because that unlocks July 10th. Make sure you have your gems to level 7 because uh, now the new rifts are uh, level 7 to do the insanity difficulty. That's all you gotta do for these next two rifts and we'll have them. But he'll be purchasable July 23rd. <clears throat> new mode free for all. You gotta do our normal PvP queues, battle up to three others. First player to four ring outs. Okay, I kinda like that. I don't know if it was like that before. I think it was timed. New mode, spectator mode. That's a mode. Lobbies can support up to four spectators per game. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's more than enough, I'd say. Post-game stats every turn. You can now see your total ring outs and damage dealt on the screen after PvP or PvE match. Beautiful. Battle Pass tiers can now be purchased with Gleamium. Beautiful. Just, just beautiful. <laughs> Added a daily free item available to be collected in the store. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fighter select portraits have been changed from 3D to 2D at art renders for fighters only. Variants will retain the 3D Oh yeah. <laughs> I like how they had to put that. Hey guys, we are making the decision to make our game 2D. People were, that was part of the feedback. People liked the old ones better. Because with 2D art, you can just make it more detailed and just like, it's got a different feel to it, which I agree with. Had an option to edit perks in custom game mode. I thought you could do that but you'd have to like choose your own set. We've added the option to turn on and off both outline colors and team colors and PVP, PVE, these can be confused in the settings. Rifts, the Megalodog PVE Rift is now available. Future Rifts have been added and will unlock later this season. Agents, Age of Smith, oh nice, and Triple Threat. Or the Age of Smith is probably the last one you need <clears throat> to unlock him. Oh, lots of Rift stuff. This is beautiful, I love this. Rift Cauldrons are now called Rift Star Meters. Star Meters can now be completed by collecting 72% of the uh, available stars in a rift down from 80 percent that's nice because some of them you would have to do every single one if you weren't having a teammate i feel like the gem rewards was not really gratifying in the easy and medium modes because you would hardly get any experience when your gems are already levels like 7 8 or, and above add a new button to auto equip gems before the match if you cur if currently equipped gems are mismatched that's good that was annoying to swap Added a new button to retry a rift mode and when rifts is completed. Yeah, we knew that was coming. That's really good. Really annoying to replay it. They still have yet to add a reason to grind rifts over and over. Added a new button to leave rift matches when in single player mode. Defeated bosses requirements have been lowered to unlock Matrix Code Superman. <gasps> yes! Wait, is it going to be before? Am I going to have it unlocked? No way. Nice. That means it's probably going to be unlocked tomorrow. Let's go, Superman. That skin is going to be sick. Rift balance. Area of effect attack damage has been reduced on higher difficulties. Reflect damage has been reduced on higher difficulties. Amateur knockback reduced. Count mastery, character mastery, and leaderboards are now show progress for all matches in a set in the post-match summer rather than just the last match. That's good. Customize input buffering. This could change everything. Cause I think I heard on default it's by thir like 30. If it's on lower, I don't know. It could, it could make a huge difference. We're gonna find out. Customize control stick inputs dead zones, both left and right sticks. I think that's gonna be good because I want it to, some attacks to not activate as easily. I don't wanna try to do like an up special or something and then accidentally do a side special or something like that. So I hope that's what that means. Swap side slash neutral attacks, that was a huge one. Toggleable option to use attack inputs to pick up items. Thank the Lord Jesus. This is on by default and they removed the option to remove it, that's insane. Fast fall method input settings, tap down or hold down. Customizable neutral dodge input biting, that is huge as well. Combat changes, oh my God, here we go. We're not even halfway done. Holy smokes, crazies. All right, I'm excited. Excited, are you excited, Jeff, huh? I'm ecstatic, can't you tell? <laughs> I can't play the game, asshole. I don't like the attitude. Upon a hit stun ending, fighters now incur a six frame lockout on the neutral dodge action. This is when they're preventing parries happening in mid combo. 
Excessively long combo strings now apply a vacuum attack hit stun. Allow players to more easily escape previously inescapable infinite team combos, such as altering Superman. Okay, yeah. really big ones where it's like impossible to do anything. Attacks that incapacitate fighters now apply a temporary incapacitate resistance buff to incapaci incapacitated fighter. This will make subsequent incapacitate attacks have a much shorter duration. Combos such as alternating Jake, Bite, and Spit. Side attack combo input buffers have been standardized for all fighters. It should now be easier to buffer a different attack during a jab combo without accidentally inputting further attacks in the jab combo. Because sometimes I would be in a <clears throat> Superman jab combo and I couldn't get out of. Projectile shield now breaks after blocking one normal or heavy projectile. That's fine. I need to make it so when you parry a projectile, it just reflects it by default. Remove that as a perk. That is just, there's just no reason to parry. Maps, the court two variant has been added to the game. Mojo Jojo increased the interval between attacks. Oh, that's gonna make it at least more bearable. Bombs and laser knockback reduced. Here's the court two. And I actually really like it. You could uh, play around these things. Characters, baby. Here we are, the characters. Updated knockback to hit more consistently near the ledge. Air slash gr, what? Dude, that's the, their, her dash attack is nuts. Uh, air ground neutral special fix an issue where Arya would float into space while attempting to use face steel. That's it with Arya. Nothing about her down tilt. That's crazy. Here we go. Banana guard air neutral attack. I think that's his kick on hit branch window five frames earlier earlier air side attack damage reduced from 11 to 12. Dude, that's not gonna change deadly shit on with branch window delayed four frames. So you can't like move for another four frames air ground neutral special. So his uh, working out strength buff is now consumed after a successful attack to an enemy. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it shouldn't keep going. Ground down special on hit branch window can be canceled 26 frames earlier. Well, that's gonna be used a lot more. Ground side special on whiff branch window delayed four frames. I feel like they just didn't, his range is still gonna be the same. This isn't gonna change anything, to be honest. It's gonna make him better. I feel like he got more buffs. I just don't want to get peeled by a banana. I want to do the peeling. Ground dash attack on whiff branch window delayed eight frames. Holy crap. So you're actually going to get whiffed for that if you miss it because it is a very strong ability. Leg hurt box sized. What? Increased. Increased. The leg hurt box size. I feel like I've been hit where I'm, I'm here and his leg is here. Ground up attack for Black Adam. Lightning strike projectile now applies a four second cooldown. So it says Black Adam's ground up attack doesn't cause a projectile that has like a cooldown now. He's uh, where he pounds the ground and the little bolt comes off wherever the opponent is. Ground out attack, so the knockback increased on hit dodge. Branch window delayed five frames. Oh, so you can't use it to like combo anymore. So they're still able to do this, but as soon as he hits you, he won't be able to like dodge into you. Final hit, uh, hit base knockback reduce. So this is not gonna kill as easily. On whiff branch window delayed. So if you whiff, you can be punished for it. Air neutral attack, visuals now better match hitbox size. Oh, so they just made it even bigger. Oh, I got it. All right, here we have Bugs Bunny. Holy shit, all for Bugs Bunny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> imagine, oh my God. Air neutral attack, repeat move, lockout. Increased to 18 frames from 8 frames. So yeah, you'll be able to dodge out of that easily. On hit jump branch window delayed. Attacking a safe will now only knock back the safe on the last hit of the attack. Air up attack. Hitbox active duration reduced. Oh, only 2 frames? 2 frames is not a lot, man. It literally connects anywhere in between here. It needs to be like here. I feel like that's not going to help whatever whatsoever. Enemy attacks only do 1 damage to the safe. Safe health reduced to 3 HP from 16. Holy shit. Okay, that's why. All right, never mind. W change. W change. Alrighty. Garnet airside attack one now applies a repeat move lockout after ground side attack one. Air lockout duration matches ground lockout duration of 16 frames. No repeating over and over. So on the ground and air. Interesting. Ground it. Uh, okay. Hitbox startup. Time advance, oh my fucking god. I can't fucking concentrate, dude. Could you speak English? Oh, I can't. Out 
Placing the star will automatically adjust its position to prevent Garnet from bringing herself out. The gauntlets no longer spawn a star if the gauntlets were destroyed from leaving the arena. Gizmo's balance has looked much better. I agree. Air ground neutral attack. So this is the arrow. Fixed an issue where Gizmo would get multiple jumps in the air while charging an arrow. That is weird. Popcorn charge no longer affects arrow explosion damage. Car speed reduced to 2350 from 3000. Okay. It was going 3000 miles per hour. Can you believe that? Car health reduced to five HP from eight. Car is now automatically destroyed if left idle for six seconds. All right, that's big changes. Where's the cooldown? Air side special on whiff branch window delay at eight frames. Oh, that's the umbrella. On whiff branch window. So a lot of delay. Air ground up special. Increased attach radius to 570 from two. He's what? Gizmo should have an easier time swapping, snapping to his car or his allies without needing to precisely aim the attack. I guess whatever, if they're gonna nerf the other stuff. Harley's balance was mostly tackled in uh, 1.02. Ground up attack, on hit branch window advance six frames so you can combo with some other stuff. Ground down attack, the slide. Maximum movement from charge increased 5% air up attack. The confetti on hit branch window delayed five frames on with branch window. So if you miss it or hit it, you still are delayed. That was a bomb. Explosion timer now begins while it's in her hands. And the cooldown timer. Bat doll will only spawn an explosion hitbox if it explodes after being thrown by Harley. Bat doll is now considered an item while Harley has it equipped. Throwing the bat doll no longer consumes an air special. I didn't know it did that. That's probably good. Air ground down special. That's the balloon bomb. Explosion now classified as a projectile hit, meaning it can proc projectile effects. That's flammable. Oh, okay, so the flammable. Iron Giant. Wow, not much. Passive. Allies can no longer enter the pilot turret while Iron Giant is in a grabbed state. Ground side attack. So his jab. On with branch window delayed six frames. So he can be punished for that. Air side attack. So air side attack. The air side attack. Hitbox size adjusted so it's less likely to, for Iron Giant to hit enemies behind him. Okay, that's nice. They didn't do that for the Sarah for Bugs Bunny, which is ridiculous. Air neutral attack. That is the leg spinning. On whiff branch window delayed. So if you miss him with the legs, then uh, you can be punished. So up special with Iron Giant, where he swings around. Attack now transitions to final hit after successfully damaging an enemy. Oh, so you can't just like do, 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 do. So it just like attacks twice then? Upper body is now projectile intangible while Iron Giant is spinning. I'm intangible. I'm not allowed to be touched. No more only fans. Upper, his entire upper body can't be hit by an arrow or projectile while he's spinning. Jake, we got Jake buffs. He's been having a rough time except his bite. So that's in the air of ground neutral attack. That's where he like has the armor break, I believe. Startup window before charge, reduce six frames. So it's faster startup. Startup window after charge, reduce four frames. So either it's just faster. Air side attack, his stretchy arm punch. Hitbox size increased to do better match visuals. Hitbox active duration increased three frames. Ah, air neutral attack. That's where he spins around on armor breaks. Hitbox startup time advanced two frames. So it hits sooner, just a little bit. Air down attack, that's the skateboard. More aerial momentum is maintained on attack startup. Ground air neutral special, I keep mixing it up. That is the bite. Now applies the incapacitate that where we talked about earlier. So they have resistance. So if they keep biting you over and over, it's not gonna work. Jason, general machete hitboxes on several attacks now better match attack visuals. All right, that's good. Cause I've heard that it like, your entire sword goes through and it never hits. Ground neutral attack. So that's his uh, big charge up attack or the ax over his head. Hitbox startup time advanced two frames. So it'll just hit sooner. Ground side attack. Hitbox startup frame time advanced one frame. Wow, one frame. That's gonna make a huge difference. He's gonna be broken. That's not too much. That's too much. Ground up attack. So his bed. Ground up attack, fix an issue where the first hit would not properly vacuum into the second hit. Air neutral attack. It's just it's kind of a weak move that people wouldn't really use. Startup window reduced three frames. Wording, man, it's like, does it not help? So it starts up sooner on whiff, branch window delayed five frames. So if you whiff it, I don't know. I feel like it's still not gonna be used. Air down attack, hitbox startup time, advance one frame will now hit higher up on Jason. Okay, hitbox added to Jason's head. So he can headbutt you now down. Ground down special. 
Sleeping bag. Remove sleeping bag's properties as a projectile attack. It should no longer interact with Marvin's bubble or Rick portal. Ah, uh, yeah, because that was broken. <laughs> Ground, all right, LeBron, holy Lord. Ground and neutral attack. Maximum charge time increased. Required charge amount for armor increased four frames. So it starts up, hit sooner. But the armor, you don't get armor as fast. An air neutral attack. That's where he spins the ball around. First hit, more reliably combos into the second hit. Oh, nice. So it's like Taz, Nair. It's like the exact same as Taz, Nair. Repeat move, lockout. Okay, that's good. Air slash ground side special. Start up on hitting ground. Increase six frames. Hitbox size increased. Okay. Without a basketball, you will create a fence that blocks incoming projectiles. If a projectile is blocked, LeBron will regain a basketball. I had no idea this is what the ability was for. I thought it was like an attack. So basically, when you go down special, you can move around now, but you can't right now. All right, Marvin, air slash ground neutral attack. Bubble. Bubbled projectiles now have a minimum additional lifetime of five seconds to prevent projectiles breaking immediately after being trapped. Projectile lifetime reduced to 2.75 seconds from 4.25. The ground side attack. This does not last as long. That used to last 4.25. That's how long it lasted still. Let's go, baby Morty. Come on, where are the nerves? Oh, oh, oh geez, Rick. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, man. Air side attack two. Hitbox active duration reduced to prevent Morty from hitting behind himself. Oh, that, that'd be nice. Grenade are now properly blocked by projectile blocking effects. That's a nerf. That's not like a fix. Ground side special which is dirts. Splitting your grenade properly spawns two grenades moving in opposite directions. On with branch window delayed 10 frames. So no cooldown on the dirt spam, but if he does miss it, that's a long uh, time where he can't just do it again. That's something, I hope they still look at that. I'm more than just a hammer perk. On with branch window delayed 15 frames, so longer with recovery, a horizontal movement reduced. Nice, because you could follow it. Ground air neutral attack for rain dog. Uncharged damage increased. Okay, that's like nothing. Up special, air up special. Rain dogs now flies more horizontally when thrown sideways by an ally. Ground neutral special. No longer damages and vulnerable enemies. All right, those buffs are weird. I feel like I don't even know where they got these changes from. I don't know, those changes seem really weird. Rick, bit of a stickler, Meeseeks, signature perk returns. Rick Meeseeks deals extra damage to fighters that are already in a hit stun. Okay, Rick now takes priority traversing through portals if he attempts to spawn a second portal while another fighter is entering the first portal. All right, nothing too fancy there. Shaggy! Okay, ground up attack, hit stun reduced. That's the bread and butter. All right, straight up hit stun reduced. Not even like a number or anything. Just air up special. Damage reduced to nine from 10, ground up special unchanged. Air up special made horizontal, made more horizontal. Oh, I think that because they were saying like you can DI out of it more so that way you're not just locked. Hangry man perk, charge duration while holding a sandwich extended. Oh yeah, because you got it way too fast. Steven Universe, long range and low whiff recovery has made him feel incredibly oppressive in close fights. His low whiff recovery combos particularly Pair particularly well with his bubble shield pass and making it very difficult to punish Steven when he makes a mistake. Yeah, that is true. That was the biggest thing. All right, well, whiff recovery to bring him more in line with the rest of the cast. Air down attack, on whiff branch window delayed eight frames. No, just using dare over and over. Repeat move lockout increase 16 frames from eight frames. Damn, so they're just like, stop spamming dare. Stop spamming it. Air slash ground up special. The shield now takes damage on a fighter terrain bounce and will break after three bounces. Bounce and will break. Oh, cause you could just have it up there and you could like do, 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 do. Like just lots more whiff, lots more whiff recovery. Stripe. Oh yeah, his bomb. So his bomb, I believe. Now begins a five second explosion timer once equipped. Okay, so we can't just hold it forever. Superman, holy shit. Here we go. They added the flaming re-entry perk. Nice. I was so sad they got rid of that, especially with the buffs to it. Superman's leap attack is stronger and ignites enemies. Ground up attack. Hit stun reduced. I feel like it wasn't that bad. I could get like one attack off of it. Everyone could always parry when I do a neutral. I don't even know why that was a problem. That's fine. Whatever. Air slash ground neutral special. That's his ice. No longer infuses projectiles with ice above six stacks. I never understood it. I was like infusing the ice with some projectiles. Air side special. 
fly. Fixing an issue where Superman would drop a fighter if the button was released too early. Fixing an issue where he grabbed fighters could get stuck to Superman. Okay, that's it. That's it. The flying, I would get stuck. I would go into the terrain when it's literally in midair. And also you would literally go through people over and over and over. That sucks. That's still going to be a thing. I don't know what they're doing. I need to send it to someone. Air up special on with branch window delayed. Okay, so you can't really get out of it. Air slash ground down special. Laser. Fix the issue where Superman would float away while attacking certain conditions. You don't fix the map where my lasers are going through the platforms. Are you serious? They fixed things that I didn't even know was a freaking issue. Really? Oh my God. But I'm glad they had the flame of re-entry. It's still good. Break the iceberg. Fix an issue where bonus damage was not being applied to frozen enemies. I noticed that. That could be huge. If you free someone and they do, I guess sniper punch wouldn't be as strong, but it still will be good. All right. Well, that's uh, that's kind of a, the buzz kill. Not going to lie. Ground dash attack. First hit more reliably combos into second hit. Ground side attack. Fix an issue preventing tennis from doing actions other than side attack after jab one. Oh yeah, that was an issue. Why are you getting buffs? Ground at neutral attack. Damage from charge increase. Uncharged knockback. Jeez. Ground up attack. First hit prevents terrain bounce on knockback. Final hit unchanged. The sandwich. That's it. You're not going to change it from hitting three miles to the left or right. Air neutral attack. Damage multiplier reduced. Maximum damage after both hits reduced to 19 from 29. Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Size increased 20% on his air neutral? Why? Holy shit! 20%? What are they doing? Dude, that is insane. They gave him more buffs than nerfs. That is wild. I don't know, man. Maybe you won't have the da uh, damage loops anymore. Joker, here we go. General, ground side dodge distance. Ground side attack one, hitbox size adjusted so it's less likely for the Joker to hit enemies behind him on whiff branch window delayed four frames. So make sure to miss his jabs. Air ground neutral attack. Uh, the card, diamond card now properly comes to a stop after colliding with terrain. Okay, air up attack. Uh, the crowbar now applies repeat move lockout for eight frames on whiff branch window, okay. Air side special on hit branch window. Delayed, so you can't just do it again. Air slash ground up special, the balloon. Fix the issue where riding the balloon would immediately ring out the rider. <laughs> nice. Air down special. Uh, that's the fart cloud. Repeat move lockout increase to 15 from 8 frames. Joker's wild perk, which is the card. Knockback scaling reduced to 21 from 27. That's it? Even in the call, they're like, oh yeah, it's undodgeable. It's like a lot. And they're just, that's it? That's fucking it? Holy shit, yippity doo -dah. Velma got buffed. Velma can now now aim the megaphone, that's good. Last one, holy shit. Wonder Woman has been feeling a little strong since the official launch, that's for goddamn sure. Oh, so the shield that they got for the uh, down attack, which is not her dare, it's the armor. It's like they can't just go straight into armor again. Ground up special, the shield, a hitbox, startup delay. Air up special, same thing. Knockback angle made more diagonal, so you probably don't get comboed as easily. Air ground down special, increase the cooldown of the shield. All right, and that's it. Um, a lot of these changes, you know, it's hard to understand and hard to know exactly what it's gonna be changing. I read through everything. I was gonna try it out, read through everything with you guys. I feel like they didn't nerf everything with bug uh, bugs, most of it, so that'll feel nice. Joker, they didn't really nerf the card at all. The Let's stop side specials and stuff from and comboing with the easy fart. Paz, I feel like he got buffs, not nerfs, which seems weird. Maybe with the other changes, his jab combo will be good. Uh, Steven Universe, a lot more whiff. Basically, just a lot more whiff. Shaggy, just no bread and butter, jab, jab, up tilt, like you're dead. Up special, it's better. Uh, Rain Dog, I feel like they just gave him a small ass buff. I don't know, they didn't change it properly. A lot more whiff on Morty's dirt. Jason, you can actually hit easier. Jake, with their changes to incapacitated, uh, no biting over and over. Iron Giant, I nerfed her bomb a little bit, but increased her juggling potential. Gizmo, nerfed his car. Garnett buffed a little bit. Finn slightly buffed for the kill potential. Bugs Bunny nerfed. No nairing. Uh, safe. Basically, the safe is nerfed and the nair and lowered the up air bat end frames. 
a little bit. Black Adam, uh, I feel like he's gonna be less of a nuisance on his up special. It like doesn't do a projectile anymore. That has like, a cool down. Delayed his down special for Batman. Banana Guard, I feel like he didn't get nerfed whatsoever. His down special got a buff, so you're gonna see more of that. Um, some map changes. I'm always uh, high hopes, and I feel like this might fix just the, like how the game will feel and be better, but I think the biggest things are the spectator mode, the controls, and the character balance. Uh, some rift changes, but I feel like it's still gonna be boring. The new Agent Smith is gonna be coming soon. Will this patch fix the game? Absolutely not. Uh, my guess is maybe season three. It, the game actually might feel in a place where it's like, okay, this is kind of how it should have been on release. We need ranked mode. I want to see like guild mode. I want to see rift overhauls to make it more fun. I want to see more rewards. I want to see more skins more leaderboards for the game modes. They promised game modes. There's literally nothing. It's just 2v2 and 1v1 yet again. Luckily the free for all is there, but I want to see more of that. Like I want to see better events, not just chore lists. You know, more fine tuning with balancing. I think the balancing is good. Uh, more maps, more training options. I don't know. It's going to take a while for it to be a game that is really fun and worth playing. It's going to take a while, but Crazy, let me know what your thoughts are down below. It's gonna be a long ass video, but holy shit, I did not know how to get through that. I wanted to try reading out through everything, but my God, that was a lot to read. Uh, if there's any input that you guys have or uh, on what to change or what to add or what would you do differently? Overall, I think it's gonna be a good patch. I don't think it's gonna make it worse. We'll have to see tomorrow. But with that crazy, thank you all so much for watching and we will talk to you later and see you in the patch. Let's go crazies! Let's go. Good night and goodbye. Goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, Gracie.